fine. Bye and Clash Clans, I'll drop some money on your game. I'll do it, whatever. Said I wouldn't be spending, and today's video is about me saying I wouldn't be spending, and then us spending, but I'm spending, all right? Not necessarily on this stuff, because, I mean, these, these values are great, I'll give them that. Yeah, these are good values, we got some good stuff in here, but I don't really, like, need any of this, you know? It's this, though, this is what interests me. We have gifts here in Clash of Clans. What do these gifts do? I actually have no idea. I can't show the base because we're like a video or two behind, so I don't want you to see exactly where we are, but we're 12 hours away from the season ending, so uh, it's not its not anything to do with this. The seventh anniversary special event doesn't start for another day and 13 hours, so it's not that. It must just be its own thing. I, I, don't, I don't know what else it would be. Well, quickly right now, before we get too far into today's video, thank you to Hero for the Balloons, we are going to uh, purchase, I'm gonna purchase the Hondo just because like, I got 2,300 gems. It's the better deal. We got bands. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I should've closed my eyes. Ah, I think I did it. I did it. Oh, there we go. 14,000 gems received. Special offer received. Oh, you're not supposed to see the base. <laughs> I blocked the base. You can't see it. Stay tuned to the other videos. Where are my gifts? Where do I go for the gifts? Oh, you have sent clan gifts. 100 gems. What is that? Oh, it gives everyone in the clan 100 gems? Wait, what if I tap this? I sent 20 gifts. 20 gifts of 100 gems, what? Does it show like anywhere else? I guess not. And you can do that with every one of these? Like you can buy $5 and send, no, there's no way it sends 100 gems for, per gift. Probably like, I don't know how that works. Oh, right here, okay, sweet. So box of gems and gifts. If you buy 6,500 gems, that gives 50 gems each to uh, 20 clan mates. Oh. Okay, so I'm assuming if you log in, uh, then you can tap that and get 100 gems. Yeah, right there. How come I'm always logging in as soon as there's 100 gems? <laughs> Who bought those? I got you, squad. I got you, fam. Look at me, Mystic7, just providing for the team. Well, that's super cool. Now, do I buy one of these? Hmm. One of these? Hmm. Well, that is what happens when you uh, open up these 20 gifts right here, uh, which, is, which are brand new. That's super cool. Okay, cool, sweet. There's that. Shout out to the clan. Enjoy today's video. What the heck? Do you? <laughs> oh my god! I'm over. I'm over editing. Jeez. That's gonna make what I'm about to do uh, make a lot more sense. <laughs> Good morning from the richest man in Clash Clans. It's your boy with 10 million gold. Today we are stacked on gold. Uh, I've been doing some farming attacks, and as you saw from, I mean, the last. I'll just like briefly kind of scrub over this one. It was just, I saw this space and I like looked over and I was like, is that a million gold? <laughs> and I kind of just went in and swept it with, uh, I mean, obviously Lava Lunian. Lava Lunian is, I mean, that's just what I do, man. What's my strat? Uh, but we've been farming with this around the Masters League, Masters 2. I stay between like 2,800 and 2,950 trophies and I like, I'll drop down on Dark Elixir. Um, I'll basically just put my heroes down on like Dark Elixir collectors. Uh, uh, and then, yeah, just kind of keep farming this area. And this is just, uh, this raid was nuts, man. So, I, it was just like, that big dead base we kind of swept through, and uh, that was great. So, that went super well. Uh, and by doing that, we actually got ourselves 10 milli gold. 10 milli! Now, what do we do with the 10 million gold? I've got two builders, one at seven hours, uh, and one at six hours until completion. And I'm gonna, I know I said, I know I said I wasn't gonna gem the game. I know I said I was gonna take this a little slow. We were just gonna farm. We're gonna use some gems. I mean, we've been using non-stop gems on the queen, let's be real. I, we have literally <laughs> gemmed so much there. I have a plan for, for the Archer Queen coming pretty soon here, but that's not today. I have no idea what today's video is about, but uh, we're gonna finish this off. Three, two, one, boom! There Oh, level 171, no way. <laughs> okay, we just leveled up. Wow, well that's cool. There's my profile if anybody wants to know what it looks like. Yeah, wow, level 171. Okay, I have not done that in a long time. And now we have another maxed out for our town hall at least, level 15 arch tower, beautiful. Maxing out these defenses. And then now, so, what do I do with the gold? Our perks end in five days and 12 hours, so I was trying to strategize like, how can I be the most efficient with the perks? Five days, four hours. We could do an air sweeper. I was also thinking about doing some cannons for days, 19 hours. I think we'll do the air sweeper though. I think that's a good play. But that's only 6.4 million gold. So before we do that, I want to get at least one wall and then also do some elixir walls as well. We'll do a bunch of elixir walls because I'm just going to, I'll farm that back up easy. And once this builder is up, uh, we'll probably put that on another gold project, to be honest with you. Actually, you know what? I want to do one more wall. One more wall with gold over to level 11 and then we'll do, uh, yeah, air sweeper level six. Ooh, do I want to do one more elixir wall? I do, I do, I do, I do. Yes, look at these walls, man. I'm slowly not becoming a noob or becoming not a noob. All right, whatever. Let's get this air defense going down. Boom, that's a five day, four hour upgrade. And once that finishes, we'll have what? Eight hours? Eight hours to put that builder to work while we still have our boosts. Fantastic. Wow, I haven't gotten this message in a while. You've been without shield too long and will be soon kicked out. 
for a few minutes. I remember this because when I was trophy pushing hardcore, I would get this and I would I would shudder inside. I'd be like, oh, I gotta take a defense now. This was actually the scariest message I think I've ever had in this game. And it scared me every time. Well, the resources are almost maxed, so that's unfortunately timed. Be right back after a defense. We're back. And actually with an attack that's happening right now that I'm not ready for, oh my gosh, I had to pause the whole Edit system. Okay, what do we got going here? We have got a lot going here. I'm gonna go from the bottom here just because the queen is there. Th today's a farming day is what today turned into. Today's just kind of like a chill. We're just gonna, you know, do some nice and easy attacks. Use our Lava Lunion. We're gonna spend some money, make some money. Today's a chill farm day here in Clash of Clans. So let's see if we can blast up into the middle of this base, knock things out. I mean, it's a dead base, right? Like all these bases aren't really too hard to take out. So we'll, uh, this is, and this is basically, this is how I farm, by the way. This is like, this is the strat here. Um, if anyone was wondering what the, what the farming was like for Mystic 7, because I mean, I feel like I upgrade things pretty quickly. So definitely like very satisfied with all that. So we have the heal spell in there and then I usually kind of just take the heroes and toss them in. So yeah, no, today we've been just absolutely raking in the loot and I don't know what it is, what happened in, in, in the league or, you know, who got the memo of like, hey, today's like loot day, but today was a good day to raid, man. I think this was like, I, I think I, I filled my storages twice today. Um, also, I've been sitting here at my computer for just absolute hours, like endless hours editing. So, you know, I've obviously, I've put in the time, you know, I've, I deserve this money. Um, but like, no, it's been, it's been good today, man. I'm happy with that, which is great too, because like we are really behind on the upgrades for this space. I keep saying that, uh, how far behind we are on upgrades, but it's true. Uh, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do, um, in this space. Also too, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the 99% because I'm not really trying to go up in trophies too much. Also, we look at that completely maxed out except for dark elixir. We have 10 million, 10 million. Today is a farm day. Oh, also we have, uh, how many stars or, or CP is that? 2780? Five days, so yeah, well here we go. Five days, nine hours of the season, which means five days, nine hours of the perks. I want to upgrade something um, so that when it's done upgrading, we can do one more upgrade with that 20% discount and that's gonna be a cannon. Uh, I don't know anything else in the base. We, if, if I, a couple hours ago, I could have done an air defense uh, or air sweeper, sorry, cause it's five days for, I mean, technically we still could do it. Uh, I mean, we could, and then we have like a five hour window, but then we have two air sweepers down. I just love, I just love seeing that. I just love looking at the space right now. 10 mil, 10 mil, let's freaking go. And 183,000 Dark Elixir. I mean, we are we are literally stacked right now. Oh yeah, also we don't have a builder. So uh, in order to do that, I know I said I wasn't gonna do this and we weren't gonna gem. We were just gonna kind of like let things happen, uh, let upgrades happen. I mean, we've been absolutely just throwing gems at the queen lately. <laughs> so like, I need to chill on that. I'm gonna finish this building. <laughs> I'm just, I know also we could, I mean, we could boost the builders too. I'm just gonna finish the building. Uh, it's only 50 gems. And then we can get some more walls and then we could put the builder to work here on the, do we wanna do the air sweeper? I think the air sweeper is good play. Cause right now, I mean, the most OP troop in the game, we're gonna use it pretty soon here once I can get it upgrading. It's the Electro Dragon. Uh, and I think that, uh, I mean, I've seen air sweeper, Electro Dragon, air sweeper wins nine times out of 10. So we'll be doing that as the upgrade. Okay, cool. I've, Again, I, I didn't, I didn't want to do this. I'm sorry to all my FTP people, okay? We're not too free to play on this channel, but oh, there we go. Nice, ah, love that. Wait, that's it. Ar wait, hold on, do we have another archer tower going down? Or is that it? One builder, two builder, three builder, four, but yeah, wow, that's it, okay, nice. We have officially, finally completed, maxed out all of the archer towers in our base. Obviously, we still have uh, level 16 and 17 to go to, but that's two more levels we'll have to worry about next Town Hall. Right now, for Town Hall 11, we are officially maxed out on our Archer Towers. That's exciting. Now, before we put this builder to work, uh, I need, we gotta get some walls. We gotta get this elixir out. The elixir, the, the upgrades I'm gonna do, once we, once the cannon, or not the cannon, basically once all these builders are done, they're gonna go on to elixir upgrades. Remember, we have one more army camp to do at 5.6 million. Uh, I do wanna unlock the bat spell because apparently the bat slap is a good strategy. I still need to unlock the ice golem. Um, we have a lot to do in elixir, as you can see from over here. Crossing that bridge when we get there. For now, elixir going into walls. We can get a couple more walls today now the question is do we want to go around in like a line do we want to like spread out this way I kind of like how how this <laughs> this looks when it has uh, you know this big level 11 wall connected to the level 10 oops I was not looking at my gold and I'm pretty sure we can probably spend some gold as well yeah how, how much is this 6.4 million we can definitely spend some gold we'll do one wall upgrade I'm just kidding we'll do two wall upgrades okay <laughs> and then we got the one builder air sweeper let's get it going down nice that is going to finally Max out two air sweepers in our base. Oh, I'm so glad we did, we did that. We're gonna have two level sevens, let's go. And again, that does leave us with the problem of 183,000 dark elixir, but nice. 
Loot spent. Look at the loot right now. Loot in our storage is, for one, 197,000 Dark Elixir. Uh, there's a little bit more than 3,000 Dark Elixir in this raid. Well, this is gonna be uh, the final tank of the video here, and this is an interesting base, and I love this base because Air Sweeper pointed that way. Air Sweeper pointed that way. This guy's anticipating an air attack from the top. But we're gonna go from the bottom, because, I mean, that just makes a load of sense. Uh, the, the wizard towers are down here. We can just clap those up real quick. We're gonna annihilate this base. Um, okay, so and this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go lavas. We're gonna go this guy. We're gonna, oh, that's a dragon. I didn't know that was an That was a siege. Oops, uh, well, okay. We're gonna proceed. Uh, and the, the rage spells on these corners. We're gonna let that electro dragon and the minions and everything else kind of move in. And if we can just get through the core of this base right here, just like this one little middle part, we're totally good. Rage, rage. Oh, that's a heal. Those are heal. Those are heals. Those are heals. Okay, rage spell. Uh oh. Uh oh. That, I just put a heal spell where the heal spell already is. I meant to put it on the left side there. We have to use the warden's ability. <laughs> I need. I need the troops to kind of get through the mill here. Um, nice. At least the queen is down. That inferno tower. Both inferno towers should go down. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do here is that eagle artillery not down yet. Oh, that's a problem. Um, well, uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of wall breakers going in, uh, and then we're going to, oh gosh, okay. We're gonna bring in the king, bring in the queen right here. Uh, we're gonna kind of just pop in through the middle of the base uh, and see what we can do. This raid went a lot worse than I intended it to, and uh, my funneling there of the queen was just, it just didn't even, it didn't happen, it didn't exist. Um, this raid will probably not make the cut, I'm gonna be honest with you, because this went so bad, um, but like, <laughs> oh my me. I mean, we're gonna max out the Dark Elixir, so really that's all the goal. The, the, the only goal of this raid was to max out the Dark Elixir. That I guess this is a good example of a, of a farm attack that just did not go well. You don't really see many of those on my channel. I guess we'll post this. Yeah, this will make the cut. You know, this is like a nice uh, uh, view inside uh, the the fails of Mystic 7. Because, you know, they definitely, they exist, man. This is not, not everyone's perfect. Neither is this raid. But, I mean, we achieved the goal which we came to achieve uh, before the Eagle Artillery targets me. I'm, I'm actually mind blown that the Eagle Artillery just clapped me up there. I'm not too happy about that. Also, this pup. I, I was wondering, I was like, how did we get all of that elixir? Uh, it was the pup just going in on that storage. I don't know how he was un scaped over there, but freaking champion. All right, queen, I need you to shoot. Please, just elixir. Take that. You're gonna die, but it's okay, because we, I mean, we scraped up the elixir as well. Yeah, I'm not really too mad about that one. Not really too mad at all. Also, we used, again, we used the clan castle. I meant to use the, the siege baroon. Oops, whatever. Okay, regardless, we're walking. I don't want trophies because we're getting close to 3,000 and I'm not passing that barrier. 500k elixir, 350k gold, and I mean, over 6,000 dark elixir, including um, the bonus there. That was good. And now we're returning home. We have, uh, as you can see, 200,000. We have maxed dark elixir. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a one, wait, a two hour guard, sorry. One day shield right now for 100 gems. So that we get, I, that was so so not worth it. That was a massive waste of 100 gems. <laughs> Regardless, that is what we're doing. And now, what are we doing with the 200,000 Dark Elixir? You probably have an idea, but we're gonna wait till next episode because next episode, we're gonna have a lot more than 200,000 Dark Elixir. And that's gonna wrap up today's Clash of Clans video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, and let me know, how much Dark Elixir do you guys have right now? I'll see you in the next video where we spend all the money.